Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings. We are working our way through Adeen's Flight of Love. This mod is so far pretty positive, actually. Everything's going well. We've kind of saved Dragonkind. We got ourselves a new job. We're hanging out with Adeen. Anna likes us. It's, it's all really, really nice stuff. So it is another day, and we're going to check this out. In the morning, Nadine made us breakfast, and we went for a walk. She suggested paying a visit to the orphanage to get Emily. I'm going to hang out with Emily this time. As we arrived to the hatchery, Adine had some ideas in mind. Today is such a beautiful day, isn't it? Yep, definitely is. I'll get Emily. Wait for me here. Shouldn't take long. Cool. I decided to look around while waiting for Adine to return. The view was pretty nice around here. About five minutes later, Adine came back, but this time had company. And we're back. Yo! Emily jumped on me so fast, I almost fell over. Hey there, little one. Glad to see you too. I held Emily up, and she hugged my chest tightly. Ah, look at you too. Why don't you join us? A group hug, yeah. Alright, here I come. Adine quickly ran toward us, and wrapped her wings around me and Emily. How does it feel? It's amazing. Yep. We held each other close for a bit, and Adine let us go. There's no wonder dragons love hugs. You guys are talented at cuddling. I guess this is another thing dragons are better than humans at doing. I'll let you have this one. So, what do you want to do today? Why don't we let Amelie decide? Sounds good to me. Ice cream. I know the local ice cream vendor. He shouldn't be too far away from us. This is Katsuharu. Lead the way. Okay, let's get this ice cream. There is a whole mod surrounding this, so if you do want to get involved deeply into the ice cream lore of Angels with Scaly Wings, I'll definitely check out that one. Following Adine, we walked through the city until we arrived at Tatsu Park. Today seemed to be a sunny day. The sunlight only made Adine's scale shine even more than they usually do. Howdy howdy. Here we are. Where's the ice cream though? We'll get it soon, don't be impatient. Okay. I remember seeing a white dragon with a stand here these days. Yeah, it's Katsuharu. He makes the best ice cream in town. Really? Does he have a special recipe or something? Not really, but he has his own techniques on making it. Yeah, don't mess with the special, it tastes of fish. Don't want that. There he is. Hey man. Oh, isn't it the world's saviors themselves? Hey Katsuharu. Morning. How can I help you today? Would you all perhaps be interested in ice cream? Yeah. Amelie's down for it. I'll take it as a yes. What flavour do you like? Mmm. Chocolate. Noted. What about you? Okay, Adine wants to think about it. I think I have a vanilla flavoured ice cream. Alright, and what about the mythical human? There's quite a lot of flavours to choose from. Chocolate, vanilla, well, lemon ice cream with sprinkles. Adine mentioned it a while ago. I see you have refined tastes. What can I say? Lemons and the colour yellow in general are on my preference list. That's a funny way to say it, considering you hang out with a yellow dragon. Yeah, I deny nothing. Oh my. Woo. Three ice creams coming right up. Katsuhado gives us that ice creams, and we go to the bench close to the lake near us. There's a lake here? Okay, we're going to chill here. This is fine at the bench. View's amazing. I know, right? Tatsu Park offers some beautiful views. And the environment looks so clean, too. I like those pink trees we have here. I think they're kind of cute. What cherry blossom are they? Did you have those back in your world? Yeah, we did. We had whole forests full of them. From what I remember, they're called Sakura trees. I never heard about the name, though. Oh, well... While me and Nadine were busy talking, Amelie had already finished her ice cream. Did you eat it already? Ice cream's good though. Yeah, she's got an appetite bigger than a human's average one too. Do humans eat a lot? Most of us eat three times a day, and while we seem to eat a lot, it's all about preferences. If we eat a lot, we tend to get chonky and lose energy way faster. Interesting. Us dragons do eat quite a lot. Me, as a flyer, I eat around 10 to 15 fish per day. Wow, that's a lot compared to humans. In a normal meal, we eat around two fish, considering they have an average size. At least you don't have to pay for a lot of food since you eat so little. I guess that's an advantage. 
While Adine was licking her ice cream, I saw Amelie looking at mine. Still hungry, aren't you? Yep. Here, you can have mine too. I held my ice cream to Amelie, and she didn't hesitate to devour it in a matter of seconds. Oh my. How nice of you to sacrifice your ice cream to Amelie. I think she deserves it more. After all, she's a nice girl, and good girls get rewarded for good behaviour. We can share mine if you'd like to. As long as you're okay with it, yeah, I don't mind. Don't worry, I'll be glad to. We're going to get some of Adine's ice cream. Funnily enough, we leaned in close to share the ice cream. Amelie, however, didn't hesitate to embarrass us. Yeah, it was she and Adine sitting in the tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. I could see Adine blushing, but my cheeks were burning red too. Amelie. Chuckling, I could only try to make Adine laugh. Who taught you this rhyme? Adine's movies? Well, I do like watching romantic comedy movies. Seems like she does too. I guess so. You two are a romantic comedy. What What do you mean? Um, Emily, you're kind of too innocent for these things. Nah, she's not. She knows exactly what's going on. I think we should take her back. It's already afternoon. Has it really been that long? Time passes fast when you're in good company. I agree. We stood up and started walking back to the orphanage. That's it, drop her off. Been a long day. Thanks for accompanying me today. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Uh, when are we going to hang out again, though? We'll definitely do it again soon. But only if Ushio comes, too. All in. Yeah, I'll come. It's settled, then. I guess I'll see you soon. Alright. Bye. Before she could go, an idea passed through my mind. Hey, Adeen. Yeah. I, um... I was wondering if, you know, if you'd like to go out tomorrow, maybe? Oh, is this a date invitation? Yeah, I guess it is. I'd love to. So when? Are you free in the evening? Let me think. Yeah, I just remembered tomorrow. I'm going to end my shift sooner, so I guess I am free. Perfect. I'll see you tomorrow in the evening. Okay, it's settled then. Bye. Got ourselves a date. With my cheeks burning red, I started walking home. However, I was greeted by some unexpected faces again. Who is it? Oh, it's the guys. Hey, nice to see you again. Hey guys. What have you been up to lately? Nothing much. I've been enjoying my stay here. That, and hanging out with a yellow wyverness most of your time? It felt like my heart skipped a beat for a moment. I don't know what you're talking about, Maverick. Are you hiding something, Oshio? Come on. We just saw you with the Dean a few minutes ago. We're looking for you because we need you to sign some papers at the office. And we were surprised to see you, Adine, and that little dragon. You guys are looking like a married couple there. What are you trying to imply? We've noticed you've been spending a lot of time with Adine lately. What's going on? What do you mean? I've just been spending time with her, that's all. Come on, we saw the way you look at her. It's pretty obvious. And we've heard you talk to yourself about her when you thought no one was listening. Um, we're friends, okay? Just friends. Yeah, friends who spend all their time together can't start talking about each other and get all nervous and flustered when they're in the same room. They got me good this time. Fine, you got me. I like her a bit. Those words won't do. I say passionately in love with her. Whoa, whoa, isn't that a bit much? It's pretty accurate to me. Besides that, you're also red like a tomato right now. That's kind of unfortunate. So, you gonna tell her or what? That's what I've been trying to do for the past few days, but I just can't seem to open my mouth when I'm with her. Classic. Hey, rude. Ah, oh, I agree with you there. I think we can help you. How's that? You'll see. I don't like it when you say stuff like that. We're gonna have some entertainment to watch soon. What, they're going to set us up with something. I followed Bryce, Sebastian Maverick into the police station and signed my employment papers. Luckily enough for me, it didn't take half as much time as it did with Emera. Later that day, I decided to go home. The night that was about to come was very strange. I saw Reza in one of my dreams, and everything seemed so real for a while. We had a dream about Reza. It's kind of disturbing. Well, did you look at that? How's your life going? Really, Reza? You're not leaving me alone, even in my sleep? 
You don't deserve peace, not after everything you did. Not only did you help those stupid dragons kill me, but you also betrayed our whole race. Humanity's going extinct because of you, dumbass. I did what was best for all of us, dude. If by us you mean the dragons and you, sure, you did. You were the one who tried to run away with the generators after killing innocent dragons, if I remember well. Sure, let's point fingers now. I wanted to save us. The gunshots you heard a while back were from me. I wanted to get your attention outside so we could run away through the portal. And what did you do? You called the cops. If I wanted to kill you, I could. I had so many chances. And there was also that yellow dragon that was sticking to you constantly. It only made my work of getting rid of you harder. If I knew how much you cared about her, I would have shot her way sooner. Don't you dare bring her into this. What are you going to do? Kill me in your dreams? Do you have any other ideas? Of course you don't. You either tried to kill me, or put that grey beast on me. That's what you always do. You get to stay here with your lovely dragon friends while the humans get doomed. I'm sure there's a place in hell, just for you. Cut it out, Reza. You're the monster for the crimes you did. If you would have turned yourself in, we could have found a way to save both humans and dragons. My plan to divide the comet was sure to work, because the generator the dragons had was more powerful than the ones we had back at home combined. But you decided to shoot at us and payback came to you immediately. Out of words, are ya? Of course you don't know what to do without your gun. It's the only thing your little brain knows to tell you to do. Enough. What? Ah! Besides the fact that Reza shot me, the bullet has no effect. Did you forget? You're in my dream. It should have been you. You're the monster, not me. You don't deserve to live a happy life while all the humans are dying out there. Despite the dream I had, I decided not to pay attention to it. I knew that in another timeline, I managed to save both dragons and humans. Despite what happened, I couldn't change the future anymore now. But on the other hand, I was happy I couldn't. Now I could finally stay here forever and live the life I've always dreamed about. After time travelling for so long, I felt like it was finally time for me to be happy. Morning again. It didn't take me long to remember the upcoming events for today. I should probably have buy Adine some flowers. I don't know if dragons see them the same way humans do, but it's worth a try. I changed my clothes and began walking toward the local store. This will be Zhong, won't it? We can ask him. At how are they regarded? Morning, Ashio. Morning to you too, Zhong. How can I help you today? I was looking for some flowers. Do you sell them around here? Yeah, I do. What's the occasion, if I might ask? Well, having a date today. I want to impress her. Are you going to confess your feelings to Adine? Wait, wait, how, how do you know who I'm meeting? Well, word goes around pretty fast. And you two are usually seen hanging out together. Oh, well, that explains a lot. I was wondering, do dragons see flowers as a symbol of romance? Yeah, they do. Flowers do represent love between two individuals. Roses are most commonly bought for moments like these. That's great. I'll have the big one. Looks pretty good. Great choice. I'm sure this is going to make her happy. Jean took the biggest rose and put it in a bag and handed it to me. After buying it, I decided to take a Dean by surprise at the cafe. Don't disturb her at work too much though. Don't get her in trouble with her boss. When I arrived at the cafe, I saw there were no customers. Okay, I think we're okay then. We're clear. Maybe it was closing earlier today, since Adine told me she works less than usual. But I didn't mind. Having a little privacy doesn't hurt. It didn't take me long to find her. She was preparing to leave. Hey, I didn't expect you to arrive this early. Well, I thought a surprise visit wouldn't hurt, right? And what a pleasant one, too. To be honest, I don't mind leaving for our date earlier. So are you saying this is a date? What else could it be? I can see on your face that you agree with me. Oh, by the way, got something for ya. What's that? I reached out for the rose and handed it to her. I was trying my best not to blush, but my cheeks were burning red already. I got you a little gift to start the day in a great way. Is that a... Oh my gosh, it's a red rose. And full of excitement, Adine took it and smelled it for a bit. It didn't take her long to pay me back for the gift with a kiss on the cheek. This is my favourite flower. How did you know? Lucky guess, I got my ways. Or I guess I know you well enough. I got my ways. I'll be, I'll be slick about it. 
Can you tell me how you did it? I'm sorry, it's a secret. Okay, but I'm gonna find out somehow. And I'll get you for this, just you wait. What's the plan for today then? Well, didn't think that far ahead. And you're wondering why I'm calling you silly? Do you want to go for a walk in the park? We're going to buy the wonderful views you got there. But of course, you're already prettier than everything Tatsu Park has to offer. I think you already know that. You think so? Why, you're laying it on thick. Oh, you always know how to make me feel special. Because you are, and always will be. She wrapped her wings around me and hugged me tightly. You're such a sweetie. I love that. After closing the cafe, we started walking toward the park. On our way, there we met with Anna and Maverick, who were also heading somewhere. Oh, they on a date as well. Hey guys, you hanging out again? Hey Anna, what's up? Nothing much, just discussing some important things with Maverick. What about you two? You seem to hang out like an old married couple. Oh come on now, don't start this again. You know we're good friends. What about you guys? You seem to hang out together a lot more often than usual. I could see Adine grinning, and I decided to join her. Actually, yeah, you two got pretty close lately. What are you trying to say? Oh, nothing. Maybe the flame between you and Maverick reappeared after these few years. Oh. Silence is an answer too. We just might have started dating again. We both changed, and decided to give it another go. Is that so? Oh, the big grey dragon's gone soft. I don't admit anything. Congratulations, we're so happy for you two. Way to go guys, it's good seeing you back on track again. I guess there's no more divying for our feelings now. Can't wait to see when you two won't deny your feelings anymore. Oh us, yeah, we're just good friends for now, okay? As Adim was blushing, so was I. Definitely. Sure, totally believable. The tension was soon broke by Bryce, who saw us and decided to join the conversation. Hey man, what's up everyone? Yo yo, hey hey hey. Hey chief, we're just making fun of each other as usual. Again, I swear, I never get to see you all hanging out without doing this. I almost forgot, you love to tease others. You included. That's right. By the way, I wanted to ask all of you if you wanted to hang out at the bar and have some fun for a while. You know, like a celebration for saving our planet and stopping Reza. Sounds good. You always search for even the tiniest reasons to go out for a drink, Bryce. You realise this just now? You can count Mav in. If he refuses to participate, I'll make sure he'll join. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, what about you guys? Me and the Dean looked at each other for a few seconds. It doesn't sound bad to me. What do you think? If you're in, I'm in. Of course you are. Then it's a plan. Sure. Definitely. So it's like a double date thing? That's spirit. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Are we, are we gonna get drunk again? This it always ends badly. As Bryce led the way, I could only think of how close I was to everyone here. I felt like the dragons were my family. I started feeling more comfortable living in this world with each day passing by. Oh man. We're gonna get drunk, probably. <laughs> now, this looks like what every Friday evening should look like. That's because you won't get to drink alone today. You know me too well, Anna. You're very predictable, Bryce, and I'm sure everyone here agrees with me. Not true. Yeah, you definitely are. You are, Bryce. We all know you drink too much. Well, I'm sure my buddy Ushio agrees with me, right? It didn't take Bryce long to see me holding my laughter. Sorry. I can't be on your side this time. I see how it is. At least I know I can beat every single one of you in a drinking contest. Well, yeah, you do this way more often than us. And we don't even have as much talent as you. Don't you have any problems for drinking more than it's usually recommended? Not really, my body got used to it. Other than falling on the table or the floor, he's fine. He just needs someone to carry him home or wake him up. I heard that. And man, is he funny when he's dead drunk? It's not surprising. There's no way anyone would believe me if I said Maverick was lying. Not a chance. After a while, Zhang arrived to take our orders. Man is always on the hustle. Evening everyone, 
What can I serve you with today? Just the usual. Okay, one big vodka bottle for Bryce. That, that's some heavy shit, alright? Straight up ale. I have a banana flavoured juice. And I'll have whiskey. Alright, what about you? What do I want? Vodka? Have what Dean's having. Whiskey? Or beer me? Um, I'll go with the Dean. I didn't know you were into bananas. Well, I guess we might have similar preferences. Looks like it. Maybe you two have more than common preferences. Not that I'd mind. You think so? Alright, I'll be back with your orders soon. Get us some drinks, please. So, how do you like your stay here so far? I love it. It's like a dream come true, now that the murders are finished, you know? Why is that? Well, not only did I make awesome dragon friends, but I also found inner peace. After the recent events, I felt like some peace and quiet doesn't hurt. You forgot to mention the hero part, where you saved the world. That isn't important to me. What really matters is the fact that we're all together and fine. I personally don't need that much attention. Unless that attention comes from Adine, then you definitely want it. Hey, it's not like Bryce is lying or anything right now. This is getting interesting. Alright, drinks are here. Enjoy! Thanks, man. My pleasure. This one's for our heroes, Adino, Shio, and Maverick, for saving us and stopping Reza. Everyone took a sip from their drinks as we celebrated our victory. Cheers. It's impressive how in the end, the one we suspected of potentially betraying us ended up on our side. What can I say? I kept my word on helping everyone I could. That's the guy I know. So, what are you going to do now? Well, I think I'll just live like the dragons. Since I now officially work for the police, I can finally make my own money. Living expenses shouldn't be a problem now. What about the other aspects of living? Like what? You know, like finding a mate to spend your life with. Wow, about that. I'm kind of curious. Is dating between two different species here allowed? I mean, it's kind of unprecedented, I would imagine. And it's a weird topic. You mean like dragons and humans? Hmm, definitely. Just so as you know, most dragon couples are made of different species here. A human wouldn't be so different, apart from its weird shape and size. Good to know. Also, I'll let that slide about saying that the body shape is weird. Why are you curious about this, though? Just asking, you know. Hmm, sure. Leave him alone, Anna. Adine suddenly defends him. What an unexpected surprise. I already know what Anna's trying to say. Maverick gave Bryce an elbow hit under the table. Bryce? Alright, I'll lay off. Hey, why don't we make this more fun? What are you suggesting? A drinking game? Why am I not surprised? I'm not going to get drunk, and certainly not here. But with a twist. Okay, what's your suggestion? We can play who's most likely to, and every time we decide who's most likely to do something, that person has to take a sip of their drink. So what's the catch? Probably to embarrass each other, or just see who gets drunk first. Sounds like fun. So, what do you say? Okay, I'm in. Me too. Okay, I'm up for a laugh. That's the spirit. And Anna? I don't really have a choice, do I? Definitely not. Alright then, who starts? Uh, okay, I'll break the ice, since I'm the new one here. Alrighty. Who's most likely to fall asleep at work or sleep through an earthquake? That one. That's got to be Bryce. Bryce? Yeah. Once he falls asleep, there's no way to wake him up. I'll take credit for this one. I do indeed sleep like a rock. Excited to taste his drink, Bryce took a sip. Starting off strong, huh? Yep. Bryce is next. Who's most likely to cry during a movie? I'd say Adine. Same, Adine seems to be more like the emotional type of dragon. Guess the votes are in. Not fair, you already knew I'd get soft around emotional movies. Adine takes a sip from her drink. And your reaction's worth it. I think you could use a blanket to cry on while watching them. Definitely. Maybe a human could prove itself useful. Agree. I guess that would be a good option. Humans produce a lot of body heat and are also very cuddly and comfortable to hug with. How'd you know that? Yeah, that was a bit too specific. Hmm. Okay, you got busted. Well, go on, we're listening. I, uh, 
Adina's burning red from Anna's question. Not wanting to let Anna and Bryce win this one. I'll try to save her. There's a new show on TV that talks about human anatomy and features that we have. It become popular kind of fast. Adina seemed to catch my attempt to get her out of the awkward position she was in. Yeah, it's on After Humans ends somewhere around 8pm. I think you should have known that already, Anna, since you're a scientist. Well, I certainly didn't have enough time to study humans with only three of you here. Oh, I too also died and stood in the shadows all the time. But I definitely know that even though I didn't get that much time to study you, there was someone else who did. I like how you think, Anna. Okay, you two, leave him alone. Besides, it's my turn. Let's see what you have in stock for us, Maverick. Who's most likely to be afraid of small creatures? Me? Why? Me too. They definitely seem like someone who does. That's not true. Don't lie. I saw you getting scared of a spider in your apartment before. Is that so? There's no way this is true. Fine, I do get scared by spiders. I took a sip from my drink. Okay, looks like the mythical human does have a weakness. Don't we all? Guess we do. It's interesting to see him be afraid of insects but not dragons. Hey, don't get me wrong, you're all pretty intimidating to me. I've even seen your hunting skills and such. We do hunt very well indeed. Looks like it's my turn. Who's most likely to kill someone without hesitation? Maverick? Same. Definitely Mav. He's a tough cop. I would say Anna, but that's just me. He's even talked about considering to get rid of Ushio back when Reza ran away after shooting him. Wow. I have my reasons. Damn. Maverick took a sip from his drink as well. I don't blame you. If Reza shot me too, I'd think the same. Is that the killing part? I'm not that cruel. You're lucky Ushio has a big heart. He's too nice for his own good. Agreed. Your turn, Adine. Let me think. Who's the most likely to set their house on fire? Wow, Anna. Lack of sleep could make her accidentally do that. It's got to be Anna. Either that, or she sets someone else's that she hates. I'm with Bryce on this one. That's the Anna we know. Also, if she wanted to do like an insurance fraud or something, she would totally do that. And you're right about it. But I can also simply burn them alive with my flames if I want to. Anna took another sip from her drink. My turn, who's most likely to get lost in their own house or forget their own birthday? Um, Let's go get lost in their own house. Maverick. Wow, Mav stays at home only when he sleeps. Other than that, he's at work all day. Since he's ready at home, I doubt he knows any directions around there. I can't imagine actually enjoying your job. Being a police officer seems pretty boring to me. I don't think working in the lab all day sounds any better to be honest. At least I learn new things, unlike you, doing almost nothing except being mostly lazy. Maverick took a deep sip from his drink, while also giving Anna a smug face. I got a good one this time. Let's hear it. Who's most likely to accidentally sit on their own tail? Hmm, who do I think that would be? Would that be a Dean? Tough one. I got no clue. Anna, why me? You're always curling up in weird positions when you're napping. I'm sure I don't. Besides, my tail is quite relaxed when I nap. Yeah, but you got that little tail tip that likes to sneak up on you when you're not looking. Such complex debates you guys are having. Those are high importance problems, dude. I can't imagine how other subjects like this would end up. None of your business, weirdo. Anna took a sip from her drink. Alright, oh, she took the L. You should find a partner and experience them by yourself. I'm considering it. I suggest you start with Emra. You old heads would match perfectly. Hey, I'm not that old. And even if I was, Emra definitely wouldn't be my choice. It's a shame. I think you two would be cute together. I think I'll remain single if it's like that. Your turn, Mavs. Who's most likely to get caught singing in the shower? A Dean. Anna. Wow. I'm pretty sure it's a Dean, though. I'm with Anna. Adine does have quite the singing type of voice. You think so? Well, I always sing when I'm showering. It's a nice and relaxing experience. Adine took a sip from her drink. I could show you my voice sometime if you want. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Are you going to shower with Ushio and sing to them? Bryce. Good one. But that's a very strong possibility. You're an animal, Bryce. 
I can't stop it. Leaders are all over me. Yeah, old grandmas, maybe. Just you wait until it's my turn again. Unless I forget about it in the following minutes. Which isn't going to be a surprise. Who's most likely to fall asleep mid-flight? That's, that's a bad time. Probably Bryce. Hard to choose on this one, to be honest. A Dean, maybe? I think you're picking on me. This definitely will happen to me, so it has to be you. Maybe making deliveries all day could exhaust you to the point where you fall asleep while flying. Possible, but I'd rather walk instead of flying when I'm tired. Adine takes a sip from her drink. I guess out of these four, she's the one who flies the most frequently. And if it happens, I'm sure you'll catch me. It'd be my pleasure. They'll probably kill me, but fine. Let me think. Adine's turn. Who's most likely to read a book cover to cover in one sitting, Anna? Come on, that's an easy one. Yep. I'll go with Anna. You know how they say scientists are nerds and things like that? I'm with Maverick on this one. Eh, as if you would be interested in books that talk about dragons, you know? Anna takes another sip from her drink. I might be, but I still wouldn't tell you if I was. Alright then, keep your secrets, Mr. X Ambassador. Give him some peace. Why don't you give them some peace, and other things they demand? Hey. Anna's got no limits, I swear. She really doesn't have any, no. Up for one more round? Okay, let's do it. Me too, I'm almost full. One more round, let's spice things up this time, shall we? I can tell by your face, you got a mischievous plan. Me? Nah, no, never. Go on, show us what you got. Okay, who's most likely to sabotage another dragon's chances of winning a competition, or break something and blame it on someone else? I'm going to go break something and blame it on someone else. I would say, who would do that? Anna or Maverick? Scott's to be Bryce. Bryce for sure, damn. What do you mean? I'd never do that. Considering how massive you are, breaking something's a common sight to see. Okay, fine, I might do that. But being a massive earth dragon has its perks, you know? Yeah, drinking ten times more than a regular sized dragon. I reserve judgement on that. Bryce takes another sip from his drink. Okay, Bryce's turn. Who's most likely to forget humans can't fly and try to teach Ushio how to fly? Wait, you guys can't fly? Well, we could fly using vehicles named planes that we have back at home, but without them, we're stuck on the ground. Wow, I almost feel bad for you. Anna, you can't fly either, stop it. Well, Maverick definitely wouldn't do that. And since me and Bryce can't fly her, it has to be a Dean for this one. After all, I see she doesn't mind having Ushiohan on her back while flying. While we got spotted, she doesn't mind doing what now? What do you mean? I saw you a few days ago at the police station. I was talking with Maverick, and it just so happened for you two to pass by. Are you sure you saw both of us? Yeah, I did too. Same here. I just wanted to help him get home faster since it was late and they were probably tired. Yeah, Adine did me a favour and skipped me an hour of walking. I think this was an excuse for her to have you hug her tired from behind while she was flying you home. That is, if they even flew home. Maybe Ushio slept under Adine's wings under a tree. You guys are too much. Yeah, I'm sure nobody could ever beat you at all in a creativity contest. I don't see any Dunals from both of you though. Everyone chuckled for a solid minute. The mood was even higher than before, everyone getting drunk. I liked the teasing on the other hand, it was really funny. Let's see Maverick's turn. Who's most likely to set a forest on fire while trying to make a campfire? Oh me? Those little hands of theirs won't help them much. Hey, rude. Sorry, I'm on Anna's side for this one. I agree, you don't even have claws to properly grab objects. At least I've got fingers to help me a bit. Can those fingers of yours lift a boulder? I'm pretty sure they don't. What a surprise. I'll take a sip from my drink. Those little hands could prove themselves useful in delivering packages. They seem to be gentle with objects. I agree. Maybe you could also do deliveries in town. That would be a great idea. You think so? Yeah, you could do deliveries with me. Only if you had wings. That would be even better. With all of you here, I'm starting to think life was a bit too unfair with humans in their lack of abilities, other than being able to think. Maybe it was, but at least you can develop other skills in time. True. 
We kept on asking questions for some solid 30 minutes, and there was always a good laugh on each one. This night was full of jokes and memorable discussions. Hey, remember when you made fun of me a few rounds ago for not knowing about humans' features? Yeah, I do. Well, payback time. Who's most likely to fall in love with a dragon? I like where this is going, Maverick knows what's up. Hey, can we skip this one though? Come on, don't be shy. I'm sure we all know the answer to this one. By the way, if you can hear fireworks in the background, it's firework night in the UK at the time I'm recording this, so maybe that suits the theme of chapter 5. But there are no more fireworks on this video, I don't believe, so yep. I'm going with Ushio. Me too. The tension made me chuckle for a moment. You guys are ridiculous. Come on, we all know you have a thing for Adine. Anna, stop it. We've seen the way you look at her when she's not looking. What? No way. Uh-huh, sure you don't. You just love spending time with her, following her everywhere, and staring into her eyes. And the list goes on. Guys, seriously? And you're always talking about how smart and beautiful she is? I do not. Hey, is what they're saying true? Maybe. Alright then, so you don't like Dean? Say it out loud. We'll leave you alone. I see Anna's great at paybacks. Well, go on. We're all thrills. Even though this was not how I expected to confess my feelings, I had no other choice. After all, I couldn't lie by saying I didn't like her. Okay, I do like Adine. A little bit. Just a little bit? Fine, I like her quite a lot. It took you a lot of time to say that, man. You do? There's no point in hiding it anymore. You and I are going to have a long discussion about this. Now this is getting interesting. I hope you're happy now, Anna. You embarrassed me in front of everybody. Never make fun of me ever again, and things like this won't happen. Bet. I haven't had this much fun since... since yesterday. Maybe. But today was certainly fun. I agree. We should do this again sometime. If you'll do, I'm in. Me too. Seeing you'll get embarrassed is definitely fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. We'll see when the tables turn. A rematch is certainly going to be fun. After paying for the drinks, we prepared to leave. This evening was so fun. We'll definitely have to do it again. I agree. We've all done our fair share of mischief tonight. Yeah, I think we all have. That was a great game though. I had no idea what to expect. That's the beauty of who's most likely to. You never know what crazy scenarios people are going to come up with. And some of the things we came up with were pretty wild. Remember when we had to guess who was most likely to marry a sandwich? Or who was most likely to be mistaken for a potted plant? And who was most likely to start a dance party at a funeral? Hey, that was my idea. Worked like a charm. And the Dean, you have a secret stash of romantic novels? What can I say? I like to indulge in some guilty pleasure reading things about dragon-human romance every once in a while. I have to admit, I was a little sceptical at first, but that was one of the most fun nights I've had in a while. Same here, we definitely have to do this again sometime. Yeah, can't wait. I'm up for it as long as I don't have to dance at any funerals. Oh come on, you know you secretly love to dance, yeah just not at funerals? Yeah, we just have to find the right scenario to make it happen. Maybe we should make a new category for who's most likely to bust a move at a formal event. You guys are crazy, but I have to admit, I won't want to hang out with anybody else. That's because we're all a little crazy in our own way. And that's what makes us so much fun. So, when are we going to do this again? I'll be free any time. I'll have to see how my shifts will be this month. I'll be busy this week researching the human brain, but I'll let you know when I'm free. I'm free when Bryce is free. Okay, we can set on our date on the following days then. Okay. See you tomorrow at the department. It's time for your first shift. Sure thing. I have to go. I'll talk to you later. Come on, Maverick, let's go. I'll head home too. It's gotten late. Have fun, you two. See ya. Bye. I've had so much fun today. Me too. It's quite the evening. It was indeed. So, what now? 
Well, we have our plans to finish, remember? Right. I know a nice spot where we can watch the sky. Let's go. Lead the way. Following Adeen, we took a shortcut through the forest and arrived at an open field. Here we are. This place is amazing. I know, right? One of my favourites. I like coming here when I need to clear my mind. It's a quiet place that fits perfectly for moments like these. I agree, and you can even see the stars clearly. It feels magical. Actually, the whole world is magical. Well, you know what they say about magic. What do they say? Adeen leaned in closer and wrapped her wing around me. I decided to get closer to her too. Magic can make anything happen. Is that so? Well, it's definitely true, considering how a human can live in a world full of dragons. What do you think about it? How does this thought make you feel? In a way, it makes me feel good, knowing that there's no chaos compared to what was in the human timeline. But I've also noticed that I get along with dragons way better than I did with my people back home. I feel like this place is my home. Maybe it's because you're so nice to everyone. I could say the same about you, Adine. You're always optimistic and look at the bright side of things. It's always nice to be confident. Worrying too much about things can make them worse. That's a sort of point if you ask me. I'm glad that we see eye to eye on this. But what about your family and friends? I miss them, yeah, but I can't do anything about it anymore. I'm glad I have you by my side, Adine. You always cheer me up, no matter what mood I'm in. That's sweet of you to say. But I can say the same about you. Hey, do you want to play another game of truth or dare? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll start first. Cool. Truth or dare? Um, what should we do? Should we go for a dare? I see you're not afraid of starting with a dare. I'm feeling confident tonight. Let me think. I dare you to pretend that you're a dragon. Really? Easy. Yeah, I want to see Dragon Oshio in action. I mean, all you got to do is look at some of my pictures. You see me. That's fine by me. I started moving my arms up and down while trying to roar and breathe fire. Yeah, my innocent dragon. I'm going to eat ya. Oh, the big scary dragon's going to eat me alive. I didn't burst out laughing at the sight of me acting like a dragon. If he had wings, this would be a believable impression. I'll always dream of having a pair of those. Flying's definitely an awesome ability. And we could even fly together. True, but I'd still prefer to ride on your back. I know you would. The way you were holding on to me last time definitely showed how much you enjoyed your ride. I guess you outsmarted me. I might be silly, but I know how to read you like an open book. Looks like it's my turn. Truth or dare? I think I'll take a dare. You feeling confident? Hmm. Definitely. Okay, I dare you to take off your goggles. Oh, I expected something scarier. I decided to start off easy on you. Besides, I'm sure you'll choose more than one dare. That's right, after all, dares are the ones that make the game more exciting. But I know you'll choose more dares too. I'm with you on this one. Although, I know this will be an interesting game. Really? Why is that? Just my intuition. So, truth or dare? Uh, I'll take truth for the sake of variety and choices tonight. Okay, but I have to warn you, this might have been a mistake in your favour. Oh, is that so? Show me what you got. Okay, you asked for it. Were you being honest when you answered Anna's question at the bar about liking me? My heart stopped at hearing Adine's question. This could be the perfect moment to tell her what I truly feel. Well? Well. I can do it. No more holding back this time. Yeah, I was being completely honest. I've been meaning to tell you this for the past few days, but I didn't get the perfect occasion. My voice was trembling and was way softer than usual. Adeen, not only do I like you, but I've also fallen in love with you ever since I've first seen you at the cafe. You're not joking, are you? Would I ever lie to you? Wait, so does this mean... You really do have feelings for me? I really do. Ever since I met you, Adeen, I've been drawn to you in a way that I can't explain. Your personality, beauty, intelligence, they've made me feel like I'm around someone truly special. You're always optimistic, sweet, caring, and you always believe in yourself, no matter what life throws at you. Adeen's eyes widened as she was listening to me. I've always admired you and everything you do, 
and I'm sure everyone who has you as their friend is very lucky, including me. I know we come from different worlds and that we have our differences, but I also know that love has a way of bridging those gaps and bringing people together. Hey, no one's ever told me this before. I'm out of words. I had no idea you felt that way. I understand if you don't feel the same way, but I just couldn't hold it in any longer. I've also... Adeem put her claw on my lips. I'm not done yet, silly. I'm incredibly flattered right now, but I also have a confession to make. You do? Well, I've also had feelings for you for a long time, but I never expected them to become stronger every time I've hung out with you. I thought you wouldn't feel the same for me, considering you're a human and I'm a dragon. At first I tried to deny what I felt, but I ended up every night thinking about you and how much I wanted to be in your arms. That's a bit intense. I've admired you ever since day one, your kindness, your bravery, and your will to help everyone and ask for nothing in return. Not everyone's as nice as you are. And you're also a cutie, I can't deny it. And you've shown me how much you care about me. You've invited me inside your apartment with no hesitation when it was raining outside, back when I first delivered you something. You also bandaged me when I injured my wing and did all you could not to let me fly and hurt myself. And you even risked your trust with Bryce by getting a copy of the underground facility map without him knowing just for me. And if that's not showing how much you care about me, I don't know what else does. Yeah, do crimes for the ones you love. I'm so glad you feel the same way for me. Does this mean you want to give it a try? Well, I dare you to kiss me. I'd love to. On the lips. Oh, no need to say it twice. Then what are you waiting for? Come here. As I leaned in closer to Adine, she pulled me close to her to the point where we were inches away from each other. I could see her staring deeply into my eyes as I did the same. I've been waiting to do this for so long. Me too. This is the moment I could only have dreamed about until now. Then, let's make it memorable. Adine slowly pressed her lips against mine, after which I returned the kiss. Her lips were soft and sweet. They caused a feeling I've never experienced before. After a while, we let go in order to breathe. I had no idea you kissed this good. Neither did I with you. Your lips are really soft, you know that? I didn't know until now. This is my first kiss, actually. And it definitely felt amazing. Wait, you haven't ever kissed someone before? No, as I told you a while ago, I've never been in a relationship before. And I definitely didn't kiss anyone other than the kids I work with at the orphanage on the cheek. You were my first, and you made this moment perfect. I'm so excited right now that even words can't describe how I feel. I can see a Dean's tail wagging. I can tell. Your tail can't hide it. Sorry, I can't control myself. Maybe I can help you with that. What do you have in mind? I grabbed a Dean and hugged her tightly while scratching her frills. A Dean returned the hug, but she held me tight with her tail also pressing me close to her. Hey, this is the best day of my entire life. I can't believe we can finally be together. I can say the same, Adine. I've never been happier than I am now. With you here, I feel like we can make anything possible. Me too. Mm, I could hold you like this forever. You're so warm. I wouldn't mind cuddling with you all day long either. Not only you're soft, but your wings also keep you comfortable, like being under a blanket. I guess you just found the perfect partner. Hey, I hope you did too. I definitely did, and I won't ever let you go away from my wings. After a while, we pulled away from the hug. You know, I didn't think this night would end up like this. Well, what did you expect? Maybe another fun night with you playing games and sharing funny stories. But this, this is perfection. I agree, getting my thoughts off my chest definitely felt good. And you feeling the same way as me feels like a dream that become reality. So, what should we do about our future? Well, I have some ideas, but that can wait a bit. We should go home. It's getting cold outside. Alright, which one though? Do you mind if we go to your apartment? Definitely not. I knew it. Do you want another ride home? I think you already know the answer. Hey, you're such a goofball. And you a silly head. We're back at home. Make yourself at home. Thanks.
My pleasure. I'll go get some blankets and pillows for the couch. You can sleep in my bed. It's in the room next to the kitchen. You're not going to let me sleep alone, are you? Wouldn't it make you uncomfortable if we slept together? Of course not. I want to be close to you. But don't expect anything else. I'm exhausted after what's happened today. Never said that. Then why are you blushing? Uh, don't worry. I'm just teasing you. But it doesn't mean we can't do it another night. We'll take things as slow as you like. I don't want to pressure you into anything. But I also want to be together with you tonight. What were you saying about humans being perfect for cuddling? Let's go. I'll show you. I led her into my bedroom and took some blankets for the both of us. Make yourself comfortable. I then took off her goggles and put them on the table next to the bed. Your bed is way better than mine. It's bigger and more comfortable. I changed my clothes and hopped in next to Adine. I'm glad you like it. I'm more than happy to share it with you. I know you are. Adine leaned in closer and wrapped her wings around me. Hey, this is perfect. It's all I've wanted in life. Happiness and peace. You've made my dreams come true. I returned the hug as I wrapped my arms around Adine's neck. I can say the same about you. This certainly isn't what I expected when I arrived here, but it's way better than anything else that could have happened. Is that so? I'm glad we feel the same way. I'm so excited about what the future holds for us. Me too. This is a life-changing experience we're living right now. Do you mind if we make some plans? Not really. Go ahead. Now that we're a couple, do you think moving in together is a good idea? I don't see anything wrong with it, as long as you want to. I'd love to. But whose apartment are we going to move into? Well, yours is cosier but smaller than mine, while mine is less cosy but a bit more spacious. Is your shower big? My wings could make it hard for me to shower if your bathroom's small. It's a bit smaller than yours, but I think you can fit in. That's a relief. Hmm, what do you think? For me it's good either way. Wait, I forgot something. What's that? Now that this apartment's my property, I don't have to pay rent for it, only the bills. Your apartment's rented, right? Yeah, I rented it a while ago, and it stayed like this until now. If you think about it, moving in together means we'll share the same money, with both of us having salaries. I see what you're trying to say. I almost forgot that you work for the police now. I wouldn't mind moving in here with you anyway, no matter if you had money or not. Your love's all I need to be rich. I could say the same about you. But you forgot the best part. What would that be? With us living together, that means money won't be a problem for neither of us since we both have jobs. And you won't have to eat ramen all day in order to pay your rent. Oh, how did I miss that one? You're right. I guess life really loves us right now. But not as much as I love you. Oh, you. Adine nuzzled her head against mine. My life will never be the same, but in a good way. Mine either. Now, I can always wake up with you next to me. This is the perfect way to start my day. You sweetie. I don't know how much my heart can resist your charm. But I know I can find a way to handle your kindness and love. I blame those on you. Spending so much time with you may be the person I am now. I'm glad to hear it. I'm really curious how everyone's going to react when they see us together. Me too, but I think it will take them a while to find out. Unless they see us kissing or holding hands and claws. Well, if you think about it, they teased us for a long time now. I don't think it's going to come as a surprise to them. I guess you're right. How's your day tomorrow? I have to start my shift in the morning, but by afternoon I should be done. What about you? I'll have way less deliveries to make than usual. Oh, why is that? The cafe will close earlier in order to resupply our food. And I thought about something to do after we're done. What's that? Do you mind helping me get my things to your apartment? It's going to be my pleasure. Thanks. Which means a lot to me. Now if you excuse me, I think I'm just going to fall asleep in your arms. I'm really getting sleepy. My arms are all yours. Adine pulled herself closer to me and put her head into my chest. I hugged her and put my arms around her back as she covered me with her wings. It didn't take me long to notice the happy dragoness purring. So, you really did pair on purpose in the shower, didn't you? Okay, you got me. 
I'm just really relaxed and happy when I'm around you. Especially when they're cuddling. I can't control myself. I think it's sweet and also really cute. I'm glad you don't mind. I could feel my eyelids closing involuntary after a while. Sweet dreams, my angel. Good night, my love, and I'll see you in the morning. Soon the purring stopped, and Nadine let herself on me. Enjoying the moment, I decided to give her one last kiss on her muzzle. That night, I didn't have any dreams to bother me. It was the most peaceful night I've had in a long time, apart from all the fireworks. I could finally have the inner peace I always wanted. This is a new start for both me and Adine, and I'd enjoy it with all my heart. And I think that that is the end of this episode. It's going to be a new day. And now that our relationship with Adine is official, it's going to be interesting to see how it develops from here. This is the show signing off, and hopefully I will see you next time.